Are you thinking of getting your first dog? Use this video to choose the perfect and I mean perfect four-legged companion. First, we'll go through the smaller breeds. The first breed is a miniature Dachshund. What miniature Dachshunds lack in height because most are under 20 centimeters tall, they make up for in their personality. They are intelligent, fun-loving and feisty dogs that are confident around people and keen to be involved with everything that's going on. Typically, they are bundles of energy, which means they need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation throughout the day. Given a positive outlet for their energy, they make cheerful, loving companions. However, miniature Dachshunds hate to be alone or bored. This can lead to destructive behaviors such as chewing shoes or furniture, which is a sign of stress. So if you have a lot of time and space in your life, then the miniature Dachshund could be the ideal first time dog for you. It's recommended for miniature Dachshunds to get around 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day. The second breed is a Papillon. Papillons are a loyal and affectionate breed that adapt easily to the lives of their owners. At under 5 kg of weight and less than 30 cm high, they're small enough to live in apartments. You don't need a garden either, as their exercise needs at just about 20 to 30 minutes per day are modest. Though they have long, silky hair, papillons require little grooming because they don't have an undercoat. Between grooming appointments, most papillons will need a once-a-week brushing. Papillons are great for first-time owners because they're extremely intelligent and therefore relatively easy to train. The third breed is the Bichon Frise. These petite dogs weigh around 5 kilograms, have wonderfully playful, confident dispositions, and always want to take center stage. Unlike many other small dogs, they get along well with kids, which makes them an excellent first-time dog for families. Bichons are also highly intelligent, which makes training a relatively easy proposition, and they're easy going enough to adapt to life in a big house, in a country, or a small city apartment. They are moderately active, so it's best for them to get around at least 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day. Like many dog breeds, Bichons find being alone stressful and they suffer badly from separation anxiety, meaning they are best suited to households where one person is always at home. Bichons are also quite high maintenance when it comes to grooming. While it's true that they look incredibly cute, they will need to visit a groomer at least once every couple of months, which can add significantly to the cost of keeping them. Alright, let's move on to the medium and larger breeds with the first breed which is of course the Golden Retriever. Golden Retrievers are hugely popular with first time owners and it's easy to see why. They have gentle, playful natures and an uncomplicated natural sense of loyalty that makes them reliable and trustworthy. Add to this the intelligence and willingness to please that makes them responsive to training and you've got yourself a terrific new companion. They're also good around children and make great family pets. Golden Retrievers need a lot of exercise, up to 2 hours a day, and all that time running around outside means their long coats also require a lot of brushing and grooming to stay in tip-top condition. While Golden Retrievers retain their playfulness well into adulthood, they tend to suffer from health problems as they age, including vision, joint and dental issues, which unfortunately can be quite costly. The second breed is a Labrador Retriever. Along with the Golden Retriever, the Lab is considered a classic first-time dog, particularly for families. Their gentle yet fun-loving personalities make them perfect playmates for children and for adults too. They are highly intelligent and eager to please, which makes training easy even for inexperienced owners. Labradors are high-energy dogs and need a lot of exercise, at least one hour a day. They also have a high food drive and obesity is a common problem particularly later in life. Because of this, Labradors are best suited to homes or gardens and to households where they will get a long walk every day. Labradors require a moderate amount of grooming, so brushing them once a week is enough. The third breed is your typical poodle. Poodles are highly intelligent dogs and adept at learning new tricks and commands. They are also playful, loyal and loving, all of which makes them a great choice for first time owners. Poodles are also a high energy breed, which means they get bored without a lot of stimulation and exercise. Most poodles need at least 2 walks a day. Poodles coats also need a lot of care to prevent matting and daily brushing is a must along with a trip to a professional groomer 3-4 to four times a year. And last but not least, the fourth breed in this category, the Greyhound. Greyhounds are gentle and loving dogs, and while they do have some specific needs, they make great first time pets for owners. Most striking about the Greyhound is their sleek, athletic physique. Not surprisingly, these dogs are built to run and require a couple of walks a day. A short one in the morning and a longer one in the afternoon or evening. Care is needed when walking Greyhounds because of their strong prey drive. 
This can cause them to get lost while in pursuit or even get injured if they run too fast on uneven ground. Luckily, Greyhounds are intelligent dogs and learn quickly when trained with patience and kindness. Note that they're sensitive and easily scared, but time invested in training your Greyhound will definitely pay off at the end as they love to snuggle after a run. Alright guys, did you figure out which breed you're gonna choose? Tell me down in the comments below. Personally, I love the aesthetics of the Husky, but the enthusiasm and barking can be too much sometimes.